Yeah, we were looking to expand the herd um, about five years ago. Um, originally, we were looking at putting a rotary par in uh, to obviously milk the cows. But having looked at the um, robots at the dairy event when we were visiting, we came away and decided that perhaps that was not a bad, not a bad option. Um, looking partly to save labour, obviously, obviously with stepping up cow numbers, there's going to be an increase in labour, which obviously can be difficult to learn, to, um, to find, um, and also hopefully to make uh, to get extra milkings out of the cows. Um, you know, without the extra cost of having staff it coming in for night milkings. Uh, but also make, make the labour more flexible um, so they don't have to have sort of several staff here pushing cows around whilst, whilst other, there are other people milking. Um, and also that hopefully it will be a good system for the cows, um, look after the cows better and hopefully make the cows last that bit longer and, and work a bit harder whilst they're on farm. Yeah, we've been on the system for just over four years now, um, since, since we uh, sort of uh, went on the robotic system on the, on the new dairy, dairy unit. Um, that we have we, that we built. Moving from the parlour based system to the robotic system <laughs> did take you know a little while to certainly for the cows to get used to it. Um, you know, in terms of moving, the, you know, physically getting the cows into the robots and getting them trained to the new system, but it also took us quite a while to get to, to get used to how we needed to operate and what we needed to facil facilitate the cows um, for them to make the best use out of the robots in terms of um, particularly how you set, set the feeding up. Um, and how we need to operate so the cows would, would visit the, ro um, the robots um, to get the optimum use out, out of them. Yeah, I think I think robots, I think, I think they're probably the way forward. Um, I certainly think from a cow perspective, I think they're, they're an excellent choice, but you know, the cows are never getting pushed about um, and they, they are quite calm um, and, and it, it keeps them low stress, which hopefully should translate to better, better yields and, and better longevity. Um, Obviously, from a labour point of view, particularly on the large farms, it should, should hopefully save labour um, and also give you a great degree, degree of flexibility. You're not tied to a, a set milking time necessarily. You know, if you maybe if you're late back one night, it, it's not going to cause an issue. Um, and equally, you can spread it, spread your labour a bit during the day um, if needs be. Uh, the milk yields, we haven't quite got the increase that we were hoping for when we initially started. It, it did take a little while for us um, to, to get the, the sort of increase that we we're looking for. Um, I think a lot of it is down to obviously down to the management, down to the nutrition. Um, you've got to make sure that's all right and all set up to get the best out of the robots um, to get to get the increases in yield um, that you would possibly be looking for uh, to justify the uh, the expense. Yeah, I mean when we first started, it started up with the robots. Um, in the initial couple of weeks, we had to push the cows through. Um, it, you just have, have to keep them in blocks and push, push them all through the robot. And gradually over the course of, well, it took six weeks uh, for them all to get trained so that you, you know, you'd leave them to it more or less and just collect the late the late comers at, uh, twice a day. Uh, so it, it was quite a stressful, stressful beginning. But what, once they got settled, it's fine. And once they're carved down again um, in ensuing lactations, they're, they're pretty much straight onto it and there's no, no problems. Um, a, a new calf heifer is generally takes probably ten days for them to visit, visit the robot on their own. Um, you know, gradually they, they get more more and more used to it, um, and you know, then they come through. And once once they've got trained to it, they never look back. So.